Today we're going to learn about portrait painting, and in this video we're going to focus on the eyes. You may have noticed in the last video we were working on a self-portrait, and I taught you about underpaintings. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick up where we left off on that same piece. And so since then, I've been working on that same portrait, and it's taken me several hours and several sessions of painting, and I've taken all of that time and compressed it into 10 minutes of viewable painting footage. And we're going to watch that, and hopefully you will become inspired, you might pick up some of the techniques, you might learn something, it's going to be great. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, please hit the like button and subscribe to my awesome YouTube channel. The first thing I do is I mix four different shades. I have two shades of brown and two shades of red. I've made these colors by adding a little bit of white to Van Dyke Brown, Raw Sienna, Yellow Ochre, Blush Rosa, Cadmium Red, and Indian Red. In the last video, I showed you how to do the blue underpainting. Today we're going to put flesh tones over this using our Filbert Grainer brush. We use the liner brush for details, it's a signature brush. And then for some of the edging we'll use an edger brush. After painting the hat and the forehead, I begin with the eyebrows. I've added paint thinner to Van Dyke Brown and made it very runny, and I'm using my signature brush and with upward strokes, I'm painting one hair at a time for the eyebrows. I'm using my underpainting as a roadmap. Check out the video that I did before this one called What is an Underpainting? I'm painting around the edges of the glasses rim, being mindful not to completely cover it up because later I want to go back in and fill it in with black. You can paint the glasses in after you complete the face, or you can do it all at the same time like I'm doing. It probably makes sense to paint the face first and the glasses second, but I like to make things difficult on myself for some reason. To paint the glasses, I'm going to use two shades of black. I have a light shade of black and a dark shade of black. For this part, I will mostly use my signature brush. Create the reflections in the glass and using titanium white with a little paint thinner. When painting clear glass, the only thing you paint is the reflections. At this point I realized I probably should have painted the glasses after I painted the face because now the black paint was starting to mix with my flesh color and it was making things very difficult. Now I'm starting with my eyelashes using Van Dyke Brown and a signature brush. For the eye on the left, I'm going to begin with the dark colors, Van Dyke Brown and black, and then I'm going to go over it with white to make the reflections. For the whites of the eyes, I've mixed titanium white with black. I want it to have a gray tone. And I'm still using my signature brush for all of this. Now with titanium white, the tan color, and Indian red, I'm making the wrinkles of the lower eyelid. I start with a light color and work my way to the darker color for the contrast on the cheek. I'm using the Filbert Grainer brush for this part. Now I'm just adding in all the little details, the wrinkles and the folds in the skin. I'm using a light tone and a dark tone and a little bit of Indian red and of course I'm still using my signature brush. I'm just adding white to the black that's already on the canvas for the details in the glasses. Now I'm taking my Filbert Grainer brush again 
and I'm adding the shadows to the upper part of the right eye. I like to use my Filbert Grainer brush for blending and shading. I'm painting in the edge of the glasses as I go. In my reference photo, the glasses are casting a shadow on my face. I'm making sure I add this in so I have a more realistic effect. That little corner of our eye is really fun to paint. I always use a lot of Indian red at first, and then I do highlights with titanium white just by dabbing it on. So I get a good contrast of the white and the red, and it makes it look like it's wet. I use light gray for the whites of the eyes. Then, I take Van Dyke Brown and I paint a ring around the pupil and the underpainting. I use black for the pupil, and then I go back over it with white for the highlights. At this point, I'm studying my reference photo, and I'm putting in all the little details that I see. I'm using my lights and my darks to create a lot of contrast and I'm focusing on the details that create the eye. It's important to have a good reference photo or a good model. If it's right in front of you, you can't get it wrong. Now I'm adding the highlights to the glass again using white. I'm making sure to make the nose piece that's behind the glass a lighter shade of black so it looks like it's actually behind glass. Now I'm going to do this side of the face the same way I did the last one. Using my Filbert Grainer brush, I'm going to start with light colors and work my way to dark colors and blend around until I get the desired shape that I want. Every time I make a painting, I learn something. This time I learned it's probably better for me to paint a face before I paint the glasses. Next time, I'll paint the face, let it dry, and then paint the glasses. Now I'm focusing on the shadow of the arm of my glasses, and I'm using my Filbert Grainer brush to create gradients. Using my Filbert Grainer brush, my lights, and my dark tones, and my Indian red, I'm creating contrast to create the shape of the cheek. I'm paying attention to my reference to get down all the little details and wrinkles. Now I'm going to close it all up with the glasses frame. I'm looking at my reference photo and comparing the location of that little metal thing on my glasses to the center of my eye. To create the reflections on the frames of the glasses, I just add titanium white to the black paint that's already there. Then I add that other little metal thing on my glasses, some white for the reflection, blend it together, and tighten things up. I think that should do it for today. 
Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next one when I teach you how to paint a nose and an ear. So, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you became inspired a little bit. Now get out there and do some painting. Be seeing you.